The Miami Dolphins searched for a new defensive coordinator last week after firing Josh Boyer, along with three coaches in his position, from the role, yesterday when reports surfaced that Vic Fangio had agreed to become the Miami Dolphins' defensive coordinator. However, that was just a rumor when Fangio denied it. According to NFL rumors from SF Chronicle's Michael Silver, Fangio has told him directly that nothing has been decided about his immediate coaching future. Fangio was the 49ers' defensive coordinator from 2011 to 2014. This is very detrimental to the Miami Dolphins, it would be a shame to lose Fangio but we still have a candidate for the defensive coordinator position, this could free up Steve Wilkes, who served as interim head coach after Matt Rule was fired mid-season. Wilkes has a full resume that began with a job coaching at HBCU, Johnson C. Smith, in 1995. Since then, he's worked his way through the college ranks and into the NFL. He served as the Panthers' assistant head coach and defensive coordinator in 2017 before taking a head coach job with the Arizona Cardinals. If Miami wants to stick with the lightning defense they've been trying to put together in recent years, Wilkes could be their man. During his two seasons as defensive coordinator in Carolina and Cleveland, and his one season as head coach in Arizona, his defense finished at the top. Fourth place with lightning speed, with Carolina and Arizona, his defensive linebacks also hit the highest percentage of the year. The Dolphins have used the likes of Brandon Jones and Eric Rowe to do a lot of that since middle school in recent years. However, Wilkes also tends to use more zones than Boyer, which could be more relevant if the roster, specifically the sub-team, has changes, more than his work on the pitch, it is clear that his players have put in maximum effort this year as it will be much easier to sort it out after Rule's departure. Miami needs an experienced, respected defensive leader and while he may not be the first choice for them, he should be the best option if we don't get Vic Fangio.